Welcome to Dr. Scott's class. I am here in class today, so I'm going to go over worksheets and creating financial statements. So this is a little different. We're trying something new. So hope you enjoy. Okay, guys, so you saw the video and where we're going, I'm going to have to start this one down here. This is your, everybody should be here on the worksheet and this is what we're going to start with. But now y'all can't see what we, the um, adjustments. Once we do the adjustments, we'll do it. We don't have to worry about the other side. So, here we go. We already have your, your worksheet is already, I already did this for you. When you all receive a worksheet, nothing's in it, okay? So you'll have to go to your general ledger and pull up everything from every account and put it either in a debit or credit. So it'll be a blank worksheet with nothing in it. But I started it for you. Okay, so our first adjustment, the company has earned 9,000 in revenue that was not received or recorded at the end of the year. So they did not, they earned the money, but haven't received it. So what is that? So I earned it, somebody owes me money. Accounts receivable. Okay, so we will go here on your, you should be doing this on your screen. You put A, you remember before, it's like one journal entry, two, now you're connecting it to the um, information here. So A would be 9,000, that's the debit. What's the credit to that journal entry, if we were writing? What do we do? We add it to it. Add it to what? What do we do? It says the company has earned 9,000, so what is it? Earned money. But what's the, what's the account? Service revenue. Service revenue. Very good. So we add it to the service revenue. Right. So you still put your A and that's your credit. Okay. B says the company incurred 2000 in salary expense that was not yet recorded or paid at year end. Assume it records salary not yet paid as part of accounts payable. So, accounts payable, we owe someone else. So to increase accounts payable, you notice a credit. What's our debit? What, what, are we, what do we owe them? Salary. So salary expense. expense. Good. So this is B, and it is 2000? Yes. Okay, and then our credit, is here. So you see, you put the um, you put the letter with the numbers that you know what goes with what. Again, I told you worksheets are good, but when we go back, everything's here. Accounts payable and as your credit and your debit is salary expense. We have the total. Okay, well I'll go ahead and do C. C, the long-term note payable was issued on December 31st this year. Thus, no interest has yet accrued on this loan. I'm telling you there's nothing to do. Okay, so you had a loan, no interest has come, so we're good. Okay, so C is nothing. So I'm gonna take this off, why is not screen back? With adjustments, you have to total your column. So you have 11,000. Okay, nine and two, and then same here. Two. Okay. We're good. Okay. So now from the video, what we're doing, we we were going up and down. Now we're going across. Cash. Thirteen thousand was a trial balance. We didn't adjust anything in cash. Remember, first of all, with adjustments, cash is never adjusted. So. That goes over. The debit comes over. 
accounts receivable. Accounts receivable did have an adjustment. An 8,000 debit and a 9,000 debit makes it 17,000. 17, Good. Land, there was no adjustment, so that's still 85. We get to accounts payable, there was an adjustment of 2,000. So 10 and 2, 12, and it's a credit. Notes payable, there wasn't any adjustment. Capital, there wasn't any adjustment. Um, magical draw, that should be 2,000, not 20. So you say magical, it's supposed to be what? It should be 2,000. So change the 2,000, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's a lot of money to withdraw. No, it is $20,000, I'm sorry, y'all. Keep it at $20,000. <laughs> <laughs> they never make it that much, but okay. Okay, service revenue. There is an adjustment. So it should be 79, good. And the credit. Credit, good. Then what about salaries expense? Because mm -hmm. it's a, a debit adjustment. 56. 56. And then office supplies, there's no adjustment. So it's just 8,000. Okay. As always, let's make sure we've done everything correct. Some. Each total should be one ninety nine. That's the even for eight thousand. Did you forget the office supply expense? Asset goes on your balance sheet. 
Income state is only revenues and expenses. Okay. So when we come down here for this green column, all I want you to do is take over, because remember we're going from the yellow, so 79,000, okay? And then we're gonna take over our 56 and eight. Because that's the only revenues and expenses, right? Mm -hmm. That's all that should go on your green column. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're not gonna work with the gray column. We're going over to this beige one. Your balance sheet. Balance sheet sounds like what it is. Our, our accounting equation has to balance, right? So the accounting equation is asset, liability, and equity. Everything. Those are the three that go on it. Not um, revenues and expenses. Just so revenues and expenses will be just put on there. Right. So pretty much everything is left minus that stuff. Okay. Cool. There you go. So let's bring it over. <laughs> yep. So that your your assets first. Bring it over. Your accounts receivable. And then late. Okay. Then you have your liability, which is the credit. Your notes payable. And then your capital and your withdrawal. Make that okay. What I want you to do is total. Total what? Total each column. Now we're going columns up and down. And you show me So notice they are not totally. They're not equally. You have sixty four thousand hands in debits, seventy nine thousand in credit. And then over here, you have the 135 and the 120, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, income statement. How do we come up with our net income or loss? You take what you earn and you subtract what you have to pay out. Mm -hmm. What you have to pay out, your, your expenses and such. Okay? So, here in the income statement column, our revenue minus our expenses is what, what's the difference? You said our revenue. So 79 minus 64 is what? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. So here, that makes our net income 15,000. You would make it a debit. Put my next Okay, so make it here. And everything. If we have a debit, you have to have a what? A credit. So if this is 15 here, you got to put your 15 credit over there. Does that make sense? Okay. So now we're going to total again. 64 and 15 79. is 79. Now you bring down your other 79. Mm -hmm. What happens over here in our balance sheet? You bring down that 135. And now you, and you got 135. Okay? So now your worksheet has total. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. When we are here, we're done. So question. What is the main reason why we knew something was missing because it didn't add up, right? Right. Because it didn't equal. And where did you pull the 15 from? The difference between these two. 
Now, another way to find out you're wrong. If you get here, they're, they're not gonna equal. Your balance sheet and your income statement are not gonna equal because there is either a net income or a net loss, right? What happens is how you know that you're right before you get any further, these numbers should be, the, the, the difference of the two should be the same, okay? So if you get here and you say, okay, we know they don't equal. Okay, we got that. But then you get here and these two differences are different, something's wrong. You've taken yeah, something over saying. wrong or um, might have made something a debit that was supposed to be a credit, mm -hmm. okay? So that's your clue there. But here, in this case, it's a net income. How we already know that, our revenues were more than our expenses. So we brought in more money than we spent. That's a net income. If we spend more money than we brought in, makes it a net what? It's not a net income, it's a? Deduction. No, what's the word? No. If I spent more money than I brought in. Start with an L. Long. Y'all was thinking too hard. Yeah, I was thinking too Way too hard. Okay, so now, remember I said, for me, a worksheet is easy, okay? Because we've done that part. Put it all in. That was easy. Now, when I say do your journal entry for your adjustment, we're going to do A first. That was the um, money that they owed us. Okay. What's my debit? Look at A. What's my debit? No, no, no. 9000 well, What's the account type? Accounts receivable, right? Mm -hmm. So this is adjustment A. Accounts receivable. You all can write this in your notes to make it go along with it so you know what your it was nine thousand? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's my credit? For, no, for A. No, what's the account title? Accounts receivable. You already did accounts receivable. That's the debit. Look at the credit for A. Look at A. Uh, uh, service revenue. Service revenue. So see, you did your adjustment on your worksheet. All you're doing now is pulling out and doing the actual journal entry. Oh, okay, now I get it. All right, cool. Okay, so let, let's keep on with B. B, the adjustment was um, they owed us salary, right? Mm -hmm. So, no, but what's our debit? Start with the debit. Remember, debit goes first. Salary. Sa salary expense. Okay, salaries, expense. Is our debit of 2000 And what's our credit? Accounts payable, 2000 Your adjustment right there you see how easy it was to just pull from your worksheet mm -hmm. versus remember last week when we were going over adjustments and it was um, look at the sheet decide if it was an expense and find out the asset okay Nancy why well, you like the worksheet right there okay then you gotta write some more because we're gonna do an income statement So that was it for our journal entry? That's adjusting journal entries, yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna erase this, guys. Now, do you all remember, and I know in my videos, we talked about it, when we're doing a financial statement or we're doing any kind of statement, there's a three-line heading. Remember we did that for our, um, the reconciliation? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So three line heading, did it even tell us the name of this place? Oh, it did, Magic Company. Okay, so we're working with Magic Company, title. Then remember, it's the name of the financial statement, and this one is the income statement. And then, the date, it, it is the December 31st, okay? So, for year ended, <clears throat> <coughs> we'll use 2022. Okay? Now, we have our worksheet. What did I say? I'm going to ask y'all this over and over and over again. <laughs> What's on an income statement? Revenue and expenses. All right. So let's start off with our revenue. What's our revenue account that we're going to put on here? Okay. And what is the amount? So you put it over here. Okay. And the credit. No, because right now, you're just doing a statement. We don't have to worry about it being a debit or a credit yet. That's the balance. Okay. So now we're going to do our expenses, which again are easy peasy because it's on our worksheet. What's our expenses? Salary. Salary is expense. Which is? 56. 56. And I'm going to write it right here because it's more than one. We're going to total. The other one is office supplies. Which is eight. How about eight? We don't have to worry about doing a whole lot of totaling because the total is? Right here. So we're gonna pull it over here. Our total expenses is 64,000. Okay. Which then leaves our net income. Same three line heading. Now we're going to go to the statement of owner's equity. So I'm going to just change the title. Okay. 
That will be zero. Okay. Now you're going to add net income. Remember, I said each financial statement leads to the next one. So, what was our net income in the other one? 15,000. Good. Which gives us 75 and 15. Good. 90. Okay. Now, less owners withdraw. Because remember when we first started talking about these accounts? Remember I said withdrawals and expenses take away from the equity. Okay, so here we are. The withdrawal was 20000 right? So now, after our worksheet, after our adjustments, Magic Capital totals what? There you go. So we've done income statement, we've done statement of owner's equity, and what's our last one? And now we need to do our balance sheet.
which is 17. And then we have lastly that land, land, which is 85. So then we're going to write our total assets here. I'm going to bring the number over here. Wait on y'all. 115. Thank you. Okay, that's total assets. Now our liabilities. Is this one? No. No, it's a couple of them. So our liabilities. Okay, it's accounts payable. Which is how much? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. And then we have the notes payable. Notes payable. Okay. So my total for liability is forty-five. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to end with our equity, which we just found from the statement of owner of equity. Magic capital. What was our total amount? The end. I hear it. 70. 70. Accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. So what's liability plus equity? What's that amount? 115. Okay. So we click in what order? 80. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. Your assets 115, your liabilities plus equity equals 115. So from this one worksheet, you did adjusting entries, you did an income statement, you did a statement of owner's equity, and you did a balance sheet. I just want to say that I understand it a little bit more now. Because the way you just did it, it all equaled out to when you first said it, like the second day or whatever. Now I get it. At first I was just plugging it in and not getting what you're saying, but now I get it after doing all of that first again. Now you see the account, yeah. now you see what matters. Okay? Questions? Okay, so not every accountant uses a worksheet. They just do without it and do what you've known before. So you've done this, you just haven't used a worksheet. And we didn't go as far as to go here. But remember when we did the adjustments and then we did the adjusted trial balance after we posted? Mm -hmm. So you've done all of it. You just didn't do it in a simple form. Sounds good? <laughs> okay, back to the video. <laughs> if you have questions, comment, but please like and subscribe to the videos. That's it, till next time.